diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and we are the scouting staff for this season's Hula Bowl. Uh, this interview is sponsored by Carl Black Orlando, Orlando's premier Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealership. They offer an extensive inventory of new and pre-owned vehicles. Stop by today just off of East Colonial Drive. Today I have with me uh, Keaton Thompson, uh, he's a wide receiver out of, of Virginia, Virginia Cavaliers. So uh, nice to have you with me, sir. Yeah, man, I, I appreciate it. Appreciate you having me. So yeah, man, um, you're one of these guys who um, was actually on our radar last season um, as a candidate to come to our game. Um, and then, of course, decided to come back. And then once again, um, do we decided to extend that offer. So uh, going to see you down in Orlando here soon, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, but before we get talking about a lot of these things, man, um, set the stage. Uh, tell me where you're from and uh, kind of walk me through your journey a little bit. Uh, yeah, man. So I'm originally from uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, you know, played high school football here uh, as a quarterback. Uh, you know, had a pretty successful high school career. Then, uh, you know, got recruited uh, to Mississippi State. Uh, that's where I, where I decided to uh, commit to, where um, when Coach Coach Dan Mullen was there. I think it was the year after Dak Prescott had left. And then, uh, you know, he uh, ended up taking a job offer at Florida. We had some coaching turnover at Mississippi State, and I stayed there three years, um, where I got my uh, degree in kinesiology. And then I ended up grad transferring to uh, the University of Virginia. Uh, was still a quarterback uh, uh, when I initially transferred. And then, you know, sometime during fall camp, I, uh, you know, hurt my shoulder pretty bad and couldn't really throw. And uh, then ended up making a position change. And, uh, yeah, man, now we're, we're here where we are today. No, well, I mean, uh, so far, I mean, it's actually gone pretty well for you. So, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, not the, the quarterback that you once were, but do you are this um, – huge target at wide receiver um uh wh what's your uh, height weight these days can you drop that real quick uh yeah right now i'm about still six five uh, about 225 about around that area about 220 220 that's crazy so are you a wide receiver or maybe a tight end is anyone like pushing <laughs> that like what i mean you, yeah you're getting up uh, there man come on now yeah either way man uh you know i'm a football player at the end of the day i guess you know i can line up at either well, hey, I mean, obviously going to be able to get out there and do whatever the coaches are going to tell you. Um, but uh, uh, let's talk about, uh, you know, you, um, you know, overall here. Um, I want to backtrack a little bit to your days, uh, you know, in high school. Um, uh, I do have in my notes that you played some other sports, specifically some basketball. Um, yeah. Can you talk about uh, you as, uh, um, as an athlete in some of these other sports? Yeah, man. So, yeah, I love basketball. You know, uh, you know, I played it. I started playing it, uh, you know, right when I started playing football and all the way up into high school. You know, uh, I was a really good basketball player. I would say, uh, you know, my freshman year started and uh, we ended up winning state uh, both my freshman and sophomore year. Uh, was uh, fortunate enough to hit the game winning shot my sophomore year in the state championship. And uh, yeah, man, we had, we had a pretty good team and uh it was fun, man. I miss it a lot. So did it, did anyone like extend any offers for you to be a basketball player at the collegiate level? Like, was that even a possibility? Yeah. So I did have, I had, a, uh, you know, a few uh, scholarships. I remember my, my biggest offer was Texas a and to uh, play basketball. Sweet, man. That was, that would have been kind of interesting. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously um, decided to, you know, continue your athletic journey as a football player. Um, why do you love this game of football so much, man? Like, what makes it, like, you know, your sport rather than, you know, basketball now? Man, I just, uh, man, it's just uh, something about the game of football. You know, it's just something about football season, man. And, you know, it's the ultimate team sport uh, for, like, you know, nothing else is like it. And uh, just when you get a, just a collective group of guys, you know, they're all, 
you know, pulling in that one direction, you know, for that one common goal and to, to be victorious and, and win, man. It's a it's a really special feeling because, you know, you know, all the different uh, people and all the different aspects uh, that it took to, you know, get to that point. Yeah. Um, the next thing I kind of want to talk about, bud, is um, uh, this whole position change. You know, um, you, you, you were a high school quarterback. Um, you came in as a quarterback. And he eventually became this wide receiver. Yeah. Um, can you kind of describe a little bit of the difference of the mentality behind what it takes to be a, a starting quarterback uh, versus like a starting wide receiver? Like, what's the, you know, what's going through your mind that's maybe a little <laughs> different? Uh, I, I would say the main difference is, you know, when you play quarterback, uh, you know, you want to stay stay in the pocket, you know, not move around too much. But that receiver, man, you got to be able to run all day. And uh, I would say it's, you know, the exact opposite in that aspect. But, you know, as far as mentality-wise, I feel like, you know, the mentality is pretty pretty similar, you know, uh, you know, still studying film, studying the opponent, you know, finding ways to attack the defense. Uh, you know, and I feel like, you know, my experience as a quarterback, uh, you know, has helped me with that a lot. And how is there any difference in the training? I mean, obviously you got to go out there and you got to run routes, but like, is there any difference in the training? I mean, are you trying to bulk up more in the weight room? Yeah. How's that working? Yeah, of course. So yeah, it is a difference in the training. Uh, you know, um, playing being a former quarterback, you know, we didn't. Uh, my former strength coaches didn't like uh, let the quarterbacks bench press and you know do certain lifts, and so you know making that transition just uh, you know also you know doing different lifts. Uh, and, uh, you know, stuff that I hadn't done as a quarterback. So, yeah, the training is a little different, I would say. So, speaking of uh, weight room stuff, what is your favorite lift? My favorite lift? Uh, I don't know, man. It would probably have to be maybe like a power clean or something like that. Like, uh, yeah, I would say like an Olympic lift, like power clean. Gotcha. Well, I mean, at the very least, you're able to do all those lifts now and get yourself to this point where you're this, um, you know, huge target to throw to. I mean, um, uh, I mean, let's just face it. I mean, I, I personally feel like that's one of the bigger um, things that you have going for you, obviously, is your size and the fact that you used to be a quarterback. Um, mm -hmm. Would you um, concur? I mean, what do you feel separates you as, a, as an NFL prospect? Uh, you know, I just feel like, uh, for one, just my, my mind, uh, and my knowledge of the game, I feel like, you know, I really, uh, have an advanced level of, uh, you know, knowledge when it comes to football, uh, you know, just been playing it a long time, uh, been fortunate enough to be around a lot of, you know, different coaching staffs and see a lot of different philosophies. So I think, you know, that's, that's one thing. And then, you know, also just, you know, the love of the game and just, you know, having a mentality to be a competitor and, uh, you know, to go out and compete and try to win each and every round. Yeah. I mean, um, just kind of, you know, watching you like last season and this season, dude, I remember last season you were playing with a cast yeah. um, and that was just crazy. <laughs> um, you know, showing your, your amount of like, um, I don't know, toughness, like in yeah. grit throughout that, still making catches. I mean, I, I I still to this day think it's crazy for a guy to go out there with a cast on one hand, right, run, right. A, run a route, and then be the go-to guy and <laughs> catch touchdown passes. I think that that's just kind of kind of crazy. Yeah, man, um, but you you were able to do it, man. Like, I, right, man. kudos to you and uh, for all that. So I appreciate it, man. You know, in the moments you don't even. You know, sometimes you, you kind of just clean, forget about all that. Like, you know, you forget you have the cast on, you know, you're just playing, having fun, man, and, and really just enjoying the game. Gotcha. And you were saying, again, that uh, you've been in a lot of different offenses. Mm -hmm. um, can you maybe describe the difference between um, that Mississippi State offense versus the UVA offense? Uh, like, how would you describe each of those and, like, your role there? Uh, well, yeah, so so – I mean, I played outside at State. I, I was there, uh, you know, under three different coaches. And, you know, I would say all of them had similarities, but they all, you know, kind of different. Uh, you know, Coach Mullins' offense, uh, I would say, you know, was kind of more balanced. And, uh, you know, Coach Moorhead offense was, I would say, more lean toward the pass. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, kind of like more man-side, zone-side stuff. And then, uh, 
this last, you know, Coach Leach, you know, rest in peace. Uh, he had the air raid offense. And, uh, you know, that was totally different where they had like, you know, maybe three to four run plays in our entire playbook. And then, uh, you know, when I came to Virginia, uh, initially Coach Mendenhall was here. And I feel like, uh, you know, we had a, a pretty, you know, well-rounded offense and uh, it was really unique, fast paced. And, uh, you know, this this past offense, this uh, last year, you know, uh, under Coach Elliott, uh, you know, I feel like we were also like a balanced offense, you know, kind of ran the ball, uh, you know, more than in passion. Gotcha. So you think that, um, you know, you offer, uh, you know, that again of, of a big guy who can go out there and, and be a blocker. I mean, like you said, like if some of these offenses are utilizing the run a whole lot more, I mean, how do you feel about being the guy um, blocking now coming again from the mindset of being a quarterback and then a wide receiver and now somebody who's going to be like a lead blocker? Yeah, man. So, so that's probably one of the, that's one of the, I think, one of the moments where I have the most fun, you know, uh, after making the transition from, uh, you know, quarterback to receiver, because I never really got to block anybody for, you know, unless it was like a double reverse or something. So, you know, I really, uh, you know, take a lot of pride pride in blocking. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I have a lot of fun, you know, trying to do that. So they still utilize you here and there, like just kind of with that, you know, quarterback background, you, they, they still try and give you like, some plays either in like a wildcat or like on a reverse, like, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, yeah. And passes, I definitely, you know, took a lot of snaps at, uh, you know, quarterback and, uh, had wildcat packages and also like, you know, like double passes or, you know, a handoff into a pass, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. And so as a wide receiver, what, what would you say is like your favorite route to run? Uh, my favorite route, <laughs> I would have to say like, uh, Maybe like an over route in the slot, maybe. Like uh, it's a route, you know, you can be really creative and, uh, you know, kind of put your own spin on it. So you can, you can run the same route over and over again. And, uh, you know, the DB not really catch on to it. All, you know, you know, catch on to how you're running. It. So I think I think that's one of probably one of my favorite routes. So, you know, over, over the course of your time in college, um, what do you feel has been like your biggest highlight, your biggest moment, your biggest game? Like, um, can you walk me through one of those uh, memories? Uh, yeah, man. So uh, I have a, a couple, you know, just this plan a long time. Uh, a lot of people, you know, uh, bring up the game uh, my freshman year uh, at Mississippi State. Uh, the first game I started as a quarterback was a uh, it was in a bowl game uh, against Louisville. And Lamar Jackson was still there, you know, and uh, he was a, a great man, a great player. And uh, we end up, uh, you know, winning the game. We had a really good defense and we end up, you know, uh, winning the game. And uh, I feel like, you know, that was a memorable moment, you know, just playing against Lamar Jackson and, and being able to win that game uh, as a freshman, I feel like was a big moment. Uh, and another one, uh, my first year at UVA, we was playing uh, UNC and, uh, man, it was a, a battle back and forth and we were winning by I think like maybe a four points or so and uh they had man went on it like they didn't punt all game and it was it was a high scoring game like uh, I think it was 40 something to 40 something and, and uh coach decided to go for it like on our own side of the uh 40 and uh on like fourth and four uh and we ran a punt fake and uh I was able to get the first down and uh that was like one of my First, you know, like big contributions to uh, UVA and, uh, you know, winning a game. And, uh, I remember that a lot, too. That's crazy. So you were out there like on um, on, on a punt? Like, is yeah, that like yeah, a normal so, thing for you? Yeah. Right. And so, so like you mentioned, um, you know, do they utilize? So, yeah, that's one of the ways that they was us utilize me is uh, I was on a punt fake and I would line up, you know, in front of the punter. And then I would have the like a, a speed option to the right, but I also had the option to like throw it to the to the guy who's lined up in the tight end position, and uh, end up you know just you know taking a run and uh, able to pick up like six or seven yards and man to to seal the victory and, and run out the rest of the clock. Man, and, uh, it was a good win. That's crazy, man. Well, I mean, again, like um, one of the things that I feel like it, you know really separates you as a prospect is is this guy who is an athlete. 
that can do a whole lot of different things. Can be can be a quarterback, a wide receiver, maybe like a move tight end, guy on special teams, anything anything that they need you to do, man. Like you're big enough to do to play almost any damn position. So what the hell? Just put you out there wherever. Um, but um, yeah, dude. I mean, there's a lot that you've done. Um, and I guess, dude. Now, obviously, we're um, we're moving on. So, um, and uh, dude, one of the reasons why we, that's really one of the reasons why we invited you to the Hula Bowl is, um, you know, you have a lot to offer and then, you, you know, you'll be able to come down to Orlando and really showcase, uh, uh, you know, all those things. So, mm-hmm. um, Keaton, I want to get a chance to meet you um, outside of football a little bit. So, um, talk to me a little bit about yourself, um, anything interesting, fun, unique, or what have you, uh, hobbies or Anything that you want to throw at me, man, I'll take it. So uh, uh, tell me a bit, a bit about yourself. Yeah, man, as far as like uh, outside of football, uh, you know, as far as hobby, you know, you know, I like basketball, <laughs> but uh, I would sure. say outside of sports, uh, man, I really, you know, uh, you know, like to go fishing a lot. Uh, you know, that's one of the things outside of football I would say that I really enjoy is just, you know, being out on the water and, uh, you know, going fishing. I feel like, you know, that's really peaceful. And uh, I get a lot of joy out of that. Uh, also, uh, playing chess. Uh, my little brother, my little brother, uh, he's the one who actually taught me how to play. And uh, you know, he, this was you know years ago. And uh, you know, that's how how my love for chess has grown. Just you know, over the years, just learning how to play in all the different ways that the games can play out. Man. And uh, it's a thinking game, a strategy game. Uh, and I, I kind of you know play that the past time as well sometimes. Well, great, man. Well, we're gonna have to get a chessboard out like uh, when when we meet up. So, right, that right. Sounds, that, that sounds like fun. Um, right. A couple other quick questions, again, non football related. Um, you know, when you think about the uh, the teammates that you've had, let's just uh, talk about UVA. Um, mm-hmm. Who is the funniest guy in that locker room? Oh man, it's a, it's a lot of funny guys uh, in that locker room, man. I would I would probably have to say. Uh, you know, Billy Kemp, one of our receivers, he's a pretty funny guy. Uh, we also, you know, had a young safety from New Orleans, uh, Donovan Johnson. He's funny. Uh, yeah, man, Dontavian Wicks, uh, Anthony Johnson. We have a, a, a lot of a lot of funny guys on the team. So it, I don't know if it'd be one of these guys or maybe somebody else, but is there somebody on that team who maybe you would see, you could definitely see, like, in the wrestling ring for like the WWE, like with their charisma and character and stuff. Uh, not one of those guys. It's definitely a guy I can see. Uh, <laughs> one about D Live, uh, Aaron Famuli, uh, and and maybe not WWE, but uh, he he'll be MMA for sure. I don't know if he could you know act them, but he he'll be in the ring fighting. I know. Crazy. Well, it's nice to get to get to know at least a little bit of your teammates there. Yeah. Um couple other things uh you have like a favorite like or or like a maybe a dream car like um you know if 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 money was no object you got a dream car that you'd love to drive one day yeah man uh so i always wanted a a ferrari 458 for some reason uh i feel like you know that's that's my dream car uh yeah hopefully i can get that one day well one of these days well i mean obviously you're gonna you know have the opportunity to uh you know get to get to the pros and really showcase that but before all that's said and done you got one one stop here um you know in in orlando so um i want to give you um really just one last moment man i mean i know that there's a lot of uh scouts out there who maybe want to know what's this guy like you know what is he going to do for us so um, go ahead and hit all these guys with your pitch as to why they need to draft you and sign you and bring you into their franchise. So uh, go ahead and and uh, and give us that. Oh man, uh, you know, like as I alluded to earlier, I just feel like you know, uh, you know, I'm a really tough competitor uh, for one, and uh, you know, also I just feel like you know I have a really good understanding of of football, you know. And not just on the field, field of play, like you know, just how football works and how how team works, and and you know how football, you know, creates relationships that you know last, and and you know the, how the strength of those relationships affect you know how well or, or how a team performs. 
So I just feel like, you know, it's a, a lot that goes into football. And I feel like, uh, you know, I have a really good understanding of that. And I definitely feel like, you know, I can definitely contribute and, and help help teams win. Well, definitely looking forward to it. So um, it's been a pleasure sitting down and uh, learning just a little bit more about you that maybe not everybody knew, but uh, appreciate right. that. So uh, again, um, you can see Keaton Thompson uh, at the Hula Bowl January 14th on um, uh, CBS uh, Sports Network um, and a lot of other uh, great collegiate athletes, uh, you know, down there in Orlando, Florida. Uh, appreciate your time, Keaton. All right, man. I appreciate you too. Bye.